Still went through with today's plan and got road running right. Just washed her. Got her all clean, even though her back window busted out. But she gonna be clean though. She still gonna be clean anyways. You know, she gonna be parked. So I get the window fixed. She still gonna be clean, fuck you mean. Still went on here with today's plans. Got her right. But yeah, uh, yeah, I call, I had called a window shop yesterday, and they was closed, but they called me back this morning. They told me back window, man, it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was, because you know, Crown Vic, they got the the froster, the heated back window, so I'm thinking the window gonna be like 200, 250. Guess how much the window is. 98, I mean, not 98. She told me the back window with the labor gonna be $91.15 for the back window. That's for the back window. See, yeah, my brother said I can go to the junkyard and get the window, but this this shop, the old, the, the, this window shop, the old heads at the shop deal with them, and then they sent a lot of people there. And uh, I like they warranty. I like how they do business. And they warranty their windows. If they install them, you get the window from them, they install them. They warranty the window for as long as they in business. So, if I get the window, when I get the window put in, if the window crack 20 years from now, or the window fail 20 years from now, I take it back to them with the receipt and whatnot. And they'll put in a new one for free because it's... They warranty says as long as they in business, they warranty your windows. They warranty they work. So, I'm go ahead and hustle, try to hustle up that money, get my back window put in because I cannot drive like this. You know, it's clear plastic. You know, it's gonna be some officer that gonna wanna blue light me because yesterday on my way home from the shop after I wrapped it up, uh, jump out boys at the light and I come off the street I turn I make the left they U-turn I'm like damn they finna blue light me so I instantly pull over they hit the blue lights and hit the siren I pulled over they kept right on going around me but yeah the first layer I ran across and then ran it down or whatever. However I did it, I taped it to the side. As you can see, you know, a little piss poor ass job. But, you know, to keep the weather out of my car. Uh, and, uh, to make it stronger, you know, thicker. I just wrapped it around on the inside. Wrapped it through the back. Because don't nobody be in my back seat no way. I got a vacuum. This shit out, little pieces of glass left. I'm at the vacuum anyways. When I do get the new window put in or Aaron Glass may vacuum the window, so yeah. The road runner still gonna get clean though. The weather gonna be good to Monday. Today's Saturday, the weather gonna be good to Monday. She gonna have to get clean. Y'all already know how I am with my car. Hey, Stru Cruise 101, man. Everything cool, bro. Uh, I hit you in your DM on Instagram. Hey, the cop car, I know you're going to be upset when you see this, bro. I know you're going to be upset when you see this. And I know you're going to be further upset when you see my pictures on, the, uh, on, on Instagram, bro. But, yeah, I already know a couple of y'all are going to be upset because I posted some pictures uh, 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 on, on the Facebook Crown Vic group. And a couple of them guys already have said. But this is where one of the bullets went to. It's lodged up in there behind the plastic and tape. It's lodged up in there in the body. And let me pop my trunk. And the other one. See, the other one went through my plate. Right through the busted. Right through my trunk right there. And lodged right here in my daughter's stroller. 
Couldn't get neither one of them out. Couldn't get neither one of them out. Because the other one is... Yep, because it's bent right up. I don't know if y'all can see that too good, but... Try to get the camera on the angle, but... It's right up in there. See what a little hole? Nine millimeter slug. Two nine millimeter slugs. He fired three at me. One of them missed. Two of them connected. But even if the stroller wasn't right here, he would hit the steely. So it still wouldn't have went nowhere. It might have ricocheted in my trunk and bounced back out the car. But it went right into my door, the stroller. And got lives up in there. That's a nine millimeter shell. But I'll catch y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch y'all in the next video.